Hi, I'm Jake. And I'm Wendy. When we got married 13 years ago, we had no idea the adventure we were in for. The Great Recession almost derailed my career plans, and after a year of joblessness in Pennsylvania, we had to pull up stakes and start a journey that took us to California and back, around Pennsylvania, down to North Carolina, and back to the West Coast. I was working a frustrating 9-to-5 job, not knowing if we were ever going to have kids to being able to stay at home, care for, and educate our five beautiful children. Together, we weathered economic uncertainty, job loss, housing shortages, monster wildfires, political turmoil, global pandemic, and the loss of family and friends. But through it all, we held on to a dream, the dream of one day having our own home and land to build on, explore, grow, develop, and bless others with. As the years went by though, we started to understand that our dreams might be further off than we had hoped. Student loans, health challenges, unexpected expenses, and the daily needs of a growing family kept us from pursuing many of our goals in the places we wanted. We didn't give up though, and after seeking encouragement from like-minded friends, we came to realize that home isn't just a place, it's a state of mind. And homesteading, while often attached to a place, can also be an entirely portable way of living and all those things we wanted to do one day would pass us by if we didn't just dive right in. So wherever we've gone, we've studied, listened to others, gathered knowledge, and practiced. We gardened on apartment patios and the yards of sympathetic relatives. We learned how to propagate plants and save seeds, graft fruit trees, grow vegetables, fruit, and grains, can and preserve foods, care for animals, build chicken coops, and even how to make chocolate completely from scratch. The coronavirus pandemic and the chaos that has followed only caused us to step up our game, taking more charge of our food security and personal supply chains. And the past few months have especially challenged us to start sharing some of the skills we have gained with others struggling with uncertainty, fear, and doubt. So while we're still looking for the opportunity to set down roots somewhere, we're here to tell you, you don't need 50 acres in the country to be a real homesteader. You can start building the knowledge and skills you need today to be more self-sufficient and have fun doing it. And so, we invite you on the next part of our journey together, and hopefully we can share with you our vision and excitement to show you how to homestead where you are.